welcome to Corpus Christi. We are at the Navy Lodge here on the air station. We just left Fibertex and we picked up the Stiffy Push Pole. It looks absolutely gorgeous because it is super lightweight. I'm looking forward to using it tomorrow because we are heading out to Baffin Bay. The winds are super high right now, so that is going to be, uh, I don't know, it's going to be iffy, but we're going to give it a shot. So bright and early, we will be on the water. Hang tight and uh, let's get started. I have to use this Exo Swim from Biospawn. First time using these guys. Yeah. yeah, we'll see what they're about. If I'm not mistaken, these are like freshwater lures too. I don't think I got them from the saltwater category. Huh? Oh gosh, we got one, son. He hit it on the drop. I don't know, but yeah, can you get the net ready? Oh, look at that trout. Oh, don't get in there. The first baffin trout. Oh my gosh. He's a, he's like what? That's a good healthy one, bigger than what like we normally catch. I'm gonna guess 17, 18 inches, somewhere around there. Nonetheless, not a bad way to start the day. Seventeen and three quarters, son. Nice. Nice trout right there. Get a photo really fast. Look at that gorgeous trout. Uh, not too sure which way to hold the fish right there. That's probably the best look, but not bad at all. Let's get the lure out. Good hook set and all. And off she goes. There's a slick over there, the opposite side, on the inside. There we go. There we go. Wait, no. You're on the ground. Because it's not moving, your rod tip is not, got no head shakes and we're pulling towards it so it feels like it's moving towards you. <laughs> There's the big one for the day. Oh my God, Mark. Well, the good thing is I needed a new leader because I had like maybe eight inches. I mean, those are the things you got to tell yourself to get through the day. We're right on top of the slick now. Oh, I can clearly see the mullet from up here. Got him, son. At the bottom. I just let it fall. We got a little fella. I'll take him though. Heck, when you're fishing so much water that you just straight out towards that 10, 11 o'clock position, you must be kin to those guys back home because that's all I catch. Nothing but little dinks. All right, we'll get you back inside that water. Keep crushing that bait, buddy. Yes. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know if he, like, he might have just took a swipe at it and got hooked. What are you doing? Oh, See you, fella. <laughs> Little short turd. He's like, what in the heck just happened? Well, I can see the bait on the opposite side of the slick. 
the one that I'm pushing us right over. See them over there? Like over there? No, 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 more towards your your left. Yeah, there's the bait. You can see them at the end of the slick in front of you. You gotta watch out because you gotta remember I'm back here and the rod is limber and it bends. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! Right inside the bait. That's a nice one, it's a little bit bigger. Ha <laughs> ha! Speckle trout number three in the boat. There's a lot of bait over here still. Good shot. Yeah, I got it. All right, I'm gonna break the pole down in half and I'm gonna start fishing too. That slick over there sounds like it has a monster lurking. Well, once we get completely blown away from the slick, I will idle us all the way around and get right back on it. Oh God, I got hit too, son. Are you on who get a double up? Holy moly, man. I just let mine, I felt you set the hook and then, oh my gosh. You ever been water skiing, son? That counts, I got the leader. <laughs> IGFA rules, this is subsection 2.A. <laughs> yeah. If you were going after like some big old trophy fish. Oh, I'm just, I just let it drop and they hit it. So I felt your, I felt your hook set and then I was like, holy cow. Uh oh. Close, though. Oh, nice one, son. Yeah. You'll know whenever <laughs> you're like, oh gosh, we got to get the net. Oh, you got him. <laughs> that was awesome. Look, you saw the blow up. It's a nice one. Either he's nice or he's a little fighter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good hook set right in the top of the mouth too. Okay, Christian's convinced me to go to one of the, like what he's using. Oh God, the, the sun. It's, it's really tough because the sun's coming in. What the heck, man? Am I just like to tossing chopped liver? I'm using the same darn lure and everything and I can't even get them to bite mine, turds. Use the forceps. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're like literally rolling on the bait. I just saw that speckled trout come up and just roll and saw his side and the little speck, the dots all in his side. Are you kidding me, dude? I think so. I mean, the next time we come out here, it, we're gonna have a trolling motor. Yeah, there's no way. Or maybe it'll just be, we get a full size skiff all together. Now, because this one's, more well suited towards the marsh and like what I do kayak fishing in. Can't treat it like a full size skiff, something that it's not. A one person, yeah, it'd be doable, but that trolling motor gets on board, we have to drop some other gear out to make up for the weight savings. I'd rather cast that way out of the ding. 
these glasses real quick? No. I'm convinced that we're not dealing with ladyfish. It's just stupid mullet playing games with each other. Oh well, yeah, I just saw what happened. There was nothing coming up at these idiots. Look, if you look over here, you see how their heads are up? Uh -huh. One gets scared and then he makes a real jumpy movement just like that and they all do it. We just been had by <laughs> My stupid mullet. Ain't nobody coming after these guys. All right, so no fishing after all. Got cleaned up, went to go get some dinner, and then afterwards we were just completely tired, so decided to call it quits for the day. Woke up and now we are back home in Houston. I definitely wanna thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. I am seriously looking forward to being able to use that stiffy push pole here in my home waters, and I think it's gonna work out, so looking forward to that. All right, if you enjoyed it again, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. For those of y'all interested in the gear that I use in the video, all of that's gonna be linked in the description down below, so check it out if you're interested. If you do make a purchase by clicking on one of those links, just know that the channel will earn a small commission, so thank you so much for that support. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.